Hello, I'm Jeff Van Trees, and this is Mobilize News. We welcome you to our shows. Our guest today is Medard Gable. Uh, Medard is a uh, is an ecologist and uh, energy uh, and environmental theorist that's done a lot of great work over the years. Uh, he is the uh, founder uh, and director of the uh, Global Solutions Lab, as well as Earth Game, uh, where they do a lot of modeling uh, with respect to uh, uh, to sustainability. Uh, and he's been a consultant to both governmental and non-governmental organizations uh, over the years. And in fact, he even worked with the great Buckminster Fuller, uh, who was an architect and a futurist who uh, actually coined the phrase Spaceship Earth, which has uh, been very important terminology uh, in the environmental movement. So, Medard, thank you so much for joining us today. It's a pleasure to be here. I look forward to uh, discussing with you the important questions that you have. Excellent. Well, we, we don't uh, have enough time, unfortunately, to go over your entire career. You could, we could probably make a, a whole movie on that. But uh, can you just uh, tell us a little bit about uh, the Global Solutions Lab, uh, why you founded it, and uh, some of the work that you're doing? The global, yeah, I'd love to. The Global Solutions Lab is an outgrowth of the work that I did with Buckminster Fuller that was under the general umbrella of something called the World Game. and. Uh, it was a continuation of that work and what it, the lab is all about and what the world game and the design science lab were all about was a set of tools for developing, recognizing and developing solutions to global problems and local problems in a global context. It was a way, is a way that uh, people from around the world come to the global solutions lab. We usually do one a year the next one is this summer in June 18th through the 30th of June. And um, they come from all over the planet and are briefed by a bunch of people from the United Nations, as well as other experts from other organizations that are dealing with the basic problems confronting humanity, whether it's climate change or energy shortages, food, shelter, healthcare, education, et cetera. The point of the lab is for these people, after they've been briefed, to uh, develop solutions to those the problems that plague our planet. Uh, they're all under the rubric of the United Nations uh, Sustainable Development Goals, having to do with the basic human needs confronting our planet. And at the end of the lab, the solutions that are developed are presented at with to a panel of UN corporate and foundation people who provide feedback on them. They're basically a group of people who could take the ideas and run with them, implement the ideas. That's the whole point of it. The Global Solutions Lab is not intended as an academic exercise. It's intended as a way of developing real world solutions to real world problems that eventually will get implemented. So it's, and a, one level could be construed as a think tank, but it's it's also an experiential laboratory for developing innovative, perhaps disruptive solutions to the way we're currently doing things in the world so that we can meet the needs of everybody, not just the few of us who are lucky enough to live in North America or other developed parts of the world, but 100% of humanity and do it in the shortest possible time without ecological impact. In fact, the other side of that coin is with some positive ecological impacts, meaning we regenerate the environment or allow it to regenerate itself while we're meeting the needs of the people of the planet. That's a long-winded answer to your, your question, and you know, what's the Global Solutions Lab all about? And um, I could go on, but that, that'll give you a good overview of the kind of work that we do.